Hey, hey, it's Jason ODB, our lifestyle podcast. And I want to uh, basically jump into this eight lug diesel truck mag. This is August 2009. So about 13 years ago, this killer tow pig, if you will, graced the cover of eight lug mag. I believe maybe a year or two ago, this truck changed hands and someone had posted it. I went and dug this issue out, uh, you know, wondering, hey, did they know it was a cover truck? And um, the person was like, hey, man, can I get that mag? And I was like, well, it's the only one I got. You know, I'm a fiend. So um, if anybody knows the owner, uh, you mentioned who, who the person is. I'd like to post some uh, photos of this one uh, crazy truck. Before we jump in, I wanted to thank Tim Gilbert, NC Florida, for picking this shirt up for me at Sl from Slamboree. And uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, of course, it's got the Lincoln. You got a fire truck going off in the background. But uh, you got the Lincoln on the race line wheels, it looks like. And then the K5. So thanks, Tim. Picked that up last weekend. Really appreciate him and Dawn uh, looking out. So with this one, got my placeholder here with, oh, speaking of Lincolns, LincolnAttic.com. You can pick one of those bad boys up. I got one or two. Uh, packages so you can buy one or you can buy two together two different colors <clears throat> okay so this was casey ridinger i believe is how you pronounce his name this was uh titled as big red subtitle this new dog can teach the old dogs a few tricks mike alexander did the write-up dan ward did the photo shoot i really dig this photo shoot i was always a fan of this truck i saw lots of photos of it from you know, show coverage. I don't know if, I don't recall if it was in tech articles as well, but being a huge fan of dualies and having my C30 addict page, which I need to post more on, always been a fan of the big hip trucks. This one stuck out to me because uh, it's the, it's the, the newer body style NBS, but it has the front clip that many of us like, they call it the cat eye clip. And you can see here, it's kind of like down towards a boat ramp, I believe is where they shot it. You got some big wheels, that killer front end, the black valence. Love the uh, one-ton trucks, you know, especially with the, the cab lights. This one's got the chrome for the, the, the deals on top, buggy tracks. So August 2009, this one was shot. And here's some details on Big Red. So, of course, it's an 04 3500 Dually, which we know it talks about um, Casey, it being the lucky uh, owner of this one. The original frame rails were built by Mike McGee to body drop it on 24 inch wheels, retaining, of course, a stock four. Then uh, Big John Atkins airbagged the front using extensive Metalworks control arms. <clears throat> so, with a good amount of features, if the right person, like a Mike Alexander, you know, had been around trucks a lot, you know, he makes sure to get the details right, which I do uh, appreciate. I don't know how many people over the years have really read the features. Did you read uh, the write-ups? But uh, you can see here, it talks about Don and Jamie had to redo quite a bit to ensure the bagged and body dually would be just as reliable a low vehicle as anything out there. Uh, it talks about bringing it to Tex-Mex, and uh, the wheels are the 24-inch dually wheels. So shout out to, um, or diesel wheels rather, shout out to Frank at Diesel Wheels. That's a Florida-based company. And uh, he's got his trademark there, those little, uh, what do you call them, divots. But again, I've always liked um, this body style truck. I didn't like the front end as much, but with this front end, man, it puts it over the top. I like that they retained the rear bumper. Uh, of course, the handle was not flipped, but it is painted. And then you have the little deal at the top. I don't know what those are called. I've got one on my 08 2500. Uh, but it's, of course, you can see kind of painted the match there on the bottom. Just super sick rigs, man. Um, they look great lowered. I do believe, keep me honest, that these are um, one less than desirable thing is these were the fiberglass bedsides, if I remember correctly. And uh, that's one annoying thing about them. But uh, I do like the lines. I like how um, the line is carried here. You can see the front end, just a killer shot right there. It's got the, uh, I believe, the telescoping mirror, so that's why they got the little black deals there. Uh, you get a little bit better photo. Uh, I also dig that it's the full non-tinted glass. 
So it kind of gives it a little bit different look. You know, typically a tow pig is going to have tinted glass. You know, you're riding uh, in style to shows and, and tow and stuff. But this one uh, retained the clear glass. A custom bridge uh, work allows KC to tow some serious loads. One Another thing I like is uh, it's got the triple convoluted bags. It's got the remote reservoir deals there for a smooth ride. Uh, Jamie Jordan, of course, uh, handmade Jamie Jordan as a... Uh, He's often referred to as made some killer uh, panels in her fender wells. So uh, pretty slick there underneath the hood. And then here's some more details. So just a killer feature. Uh, I did. I was not a subscriber to 8Lug. Uh, they often ran things that maybe I just wasn't uh, you know, in tune to. But I do have a handful of them, including this one. I was trying to find uh, if Chuck Dog, if I had the issue where Chuck Dog from NC Florida, Chuck as in Chuck up here, Chuck Shear, his truck I believe was featured in 8Lug and I thought I had it, but I haven't found it yet. You get a little bit better shot there of the rear diesel wheels. Again, those are from Frank down in Miami. Shout out to Frank. This is when uh, the era of TVs and the headrests were a big thing. Uh, not necessarily that it's not now, but you know, with smartphones, you almost don't need it. You just tell the kids to be quiet and jump on the iPad. Here you got a little bit of a custom stereo in the back behind the rear seat, tucking that big wheel. And uh, something that a lot of mini truckers did, full-size guys as well in this era, kind of the earlier 2000s, although this is an 09 feature. Uh, I remember late 90s, early 2000s, a lot of mini truckers, especially S10 guys, were painting the dashes because, you know, very plasticky, if you will. Um, and, uh, this one to me just always looked great because you had the full painted, uh, dash, uh, including the panels down here, the kick panels, the sill plates, and then also, um, maybe not my favorite center console from GM, but certainly I dig this one. And, uh, you know, you got the, the full door panel treatment going there. So a really kick ass rig, big red. We'll look back at the photos here one more time. Killer front end. Uh, I love that, you know, it's a full truck, you know, it's under the hood, it's the a rear bridge, of course, uh, the, the looks on the outside can't really be more clean for a rig. What do you think? Would you put graphics on it? If you were to buy this truck now, would you do anything different? Would you tint the windows? Hey, if you're driving state to state and it's your tow pig, uh, do you want to have clear glass? You know, what do you guys think? Big Red, again, this do dog can teach the old dogs a few tricks. Uh, pretty slick there. Cover truck, August 2009, eight lug diesel truck mag. Appreciate all the love out there. Continue to stay on the rise, guys. New episode coming tomorrow on OLP. You know how we do. And uh, have a safe weekend. September 11th is upon us, so rest in peace to the fallen. And uh, we'll hit you guys, hopefully, God willing, Lord willing, next week with another episode. And more content on YouTube here. Make sure you subscribe and comment. We got you. Peace.